Hello and welcome to another Tale of Four Geeks painting tips videos. Today I thought I'd uh, do a quick video and cover something that I know a lot of people find difficult which is painting black. It might sound silly um, but a lot of people come into problems when they try and highlight black. Um, a lot of people say it either turns grey or they don't know obviously how to shade black which sounds ridiculous because Surely black's as dark as you can get. And it's, it's really difficult to just make a model that, you know, a piece of robes or, you know, so, some skin on a model look actually black rather than a very dark shade of grey. So I saw, thought that was something I'd cover today. So uh, in true sort of Blue Peter style, here's one I did earlier. So you can see I've done some work on one of the wings of this model already. Uh, this model's uh, one of the Warriors of Chaos Demon Prince models. And... What I've done to show you the, the kind of final effect is, is painted one of the wings and highlighted it already. Now, <clears throat> the way I've achieved this effect is basically to undercoat the model black, um, as you would normally then go over the model using watered down black to make sure you didn't miss any areas underneath in some of the hard to reach areas that the spray didn't catch, just to make sure you've got a perfect coverage of, of black on the model. Obviously, let that dry. Now, one the, the the initial tip which I find really really useful is believe it or not to actually wash the black with a very dark blue wash. Now, Games Workshop do produce one of these. Um, the one I've been using is the Citadel Shade Drakenhof Nightshade. is one of the new shades. What it does is actually tricks the eye into believing that the black is sort of blacker than black in the recesses. So where that blue shade settles it tricks your eye into thinking it actually looks darker than it is. What it doesn't do is make the model look blue. It will not make your, your black look like a dark blue colour. What I've then done is used just edge highlights on the highlighting. So what you don't want to do is to highlight the whole area of the black with a dark grey, like as you would do on a normal area of a model. All you want to do is pick out the very, very raised areas with highlights that go very, very quickly from black to almost white to extremely light grey. You don't want a huge gradient in there. You just want to get to the highlight very quickly and make it like a, a quite a sharp edge highlight that's very thin. And, it, and effectively what that does is makes your, makes your model, you know, make sure that your model looks black but nicely highlighted black rather than grey. So what I'm going to do now for the rest of the video is quickly show you how I achieved the effect I've done on this wing on the other wing. So the colours I'll be using for this model um, are completely, perfectly simply Vallejo black and Citadel white. There's no particular reason why I'm using the Vallejo over the Citadel paint. Now basically, if I just lift up the camera and show you, all I've done is put... Uh, is put a blob of the black and a blob of the white on my wet palette and what I tend to do is to mix these together like this to give myself a, a gradient from dark to light so you can see with what I've done there I've got pretty much every shade of grey from black all the way up as I go around to a to a quite a light grey and every shade in between. So that's what you need to get in order to start start highlighting on your model. So first of all, I'm going to pick one of this this the darker end of that uh, that scale. And all I'm going to do is each one of these <clears throat> each one of these recesses that represents like a, a fold in the skin of the wing. Each each one of those I'm going to just pick just pick out with a very very thin highlight a very sharp highlight so you can see that's all it takes so to begin with I'm also going to pick out again a very sharp highlight on the um I don't really know what they're called on a wing 
the the bones in between the um, the kind of flaps of skin. So each one of those ribs, I guess you could call them. Oops. A nice, nice sharp highlight. You don't want to paint the whole, the whole, um, the whole thing grey. All you want to do is just catch the very, very top area. Now, sometimes <clears throat> when you're painting a, a raised bit, you know, maybe I'm teaching people to suck eggs, but sometimes I find it's helpful if all you want to do is a very, very is 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 an edge highlight. Is to use your brush sideways like this and actually use the side of the bristles. Yeah, so rather than using using the tip, you know, and trying to trying to get the pressure just right, if you just rest the side of your brush on there, you can uh, you can quite often just pick the pick the very the very edge of the the detail up. So I'm going to add a little bit more um, white. As I keep saying, you want your highlights to be sharp, um, but you also want them to be quite abrupt. If that makes sense, you want to go from black to very bright, very quickly in a very small area. You don't want a huge, um, a huge gradient. So again, I'm going to just go over the bits that I've already painted. Those exact lines, I'm going to pick out again, but even thinner, even sharper, um, and with even less paint. So. Hopefully this comes out on the uh, on the camera nicely. There. Now hopefully you can see that I've left some of the darker shade of grey underneath and just picked, just done the the uh, the white down the centre of each one of those lines. And again, rinse and repeat. And then I'm going to do an extremely sharp highlight on the top of each of the each of the wings, ribs, with two quick highlights is all I've done on this. You can go further if you want. You could bring it right up to white. Um, you could you could keep it a little bit darker if you wanted a slightly more subtle effect. Sometimes if you go really sharp, you can actually create an almost glossy effect where it almost looks like the the surface is wet um, that may or may not be what you're trying to achieve but there you go really simply you can just see it now matches the other wing and all you'd have to do is just repeat that across the rest of the wing so hopefully that's helped some people out gives you an idea of how to how to paint black if you're using the technique on something like robes it's very easy to replicate. Again, just stick to very sharp highlights on the most raised areas of the detail and uh, you can't really go wrong. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave some feedback. Twitter, at Taylor4Geeks, or uh, you can get me personally on um, at John underscore Kerr underscore T4G if you've got any questions about anything. Um, get me on there. Or you can send us an email, uh, Taylor4Geeks at gmail.com. Thanks a lot.